Let's have a look at the two teams. Well, Derry made four changes from the side that drew in Sligo last week. They're two and fours. Captain Patrick McElhenney and defender Cameron Dummigan went off in the first half. They miss out tonight, replaced by Adam O'Reilly and Jordan McInniff. Ben Doherty goes into left back. Daniel Kelly will give the candy stripes width on the left hand side. Indeed, all four subs from the Sligo game start tonight. As a referee tonight, that's Rob Harvey making his way to the centre. Experienced referee. As we have a look at the St. Pat's lineup, just the one change from the 1-0 loss to Bohemians. Jake Mulrani misses out with a knock. He's replaced by the former Derry player, Brandon Kavanagh, who played just behind striker Rory Keating in the side, chasing their first win here at the Brandywell since 2019. But anyway, here's Mark Connolly. Connolly goes with the long ball. Schoberg had the option to head it back to his goalkeeper, but... He's headed it forward and now a chance for Cavanagh to overlap on that left-hand side. Here's Huben. Huben! And it's deflected. It took the sting out of it. And easy in the end for the goalkeeper, the Brazilian Marcelo Pitaluga. Yeah, just the setback's a little bit heavy for, for Holden. He just wanted it set to his right foot. Just comes to his left and makes it a little bit trickier for him. Yeah, it was good defending in the end. Marcelo Pitaluga in his first clearance of the second half. The Brazilian. Oh, that's a giveaway ball by Doherty. He's given it straight to Keating. Oh, what a finish. Unbelievable. That's from absolutely nothing. We're in the 48th minute, and the Pat supporters in their new location here in the Brandywell can celebrate a giveaway ball by Duffy. Latched on to by the new man, Keating X of Cork City, and Brian Maher stood absolutely no chance with that ball as it zipped past him, and we got a goal. Pat's lead a goal to nil. Yeah, exactly what we needed. Hell of a finish, poor back pass, and a sensational strike from Keating, and, and just what he needs, just what he needs to get off, get himself off now. He's up and running, so hopefully we see the best of him now. You see, he takes a touch, Connolly. Yeah, can Connolly get a little bit tighter? It's a poor back pass, and then it's a wonderful strike. But he may have done Maher with the irons here. You see him looking, just looked up for a second to see if there's anybody coming up alongside him, uh, Trevor. But then he went for goal, and just for a moment, Impact. the eyes may have. Oh, bit of a decent ball from Boyce, and the cross, unfortunately, from Daniel Kelly is a poor one. That's it, just straight into the goalkeeper's hands. Kelly can do better than that. It's got to come back, hasn't it, from that area. He's got to bring it, pull it back. But the defender gets out to him quickly. He does well, Turner. He gets out to him. Levy just drops him. And Turner gets gets across quite, quite quickly. But makes it tricky. St. Pat's keeper. Now the volume goes up on the Bradley. Can they get something out of this? The first corner of the second half. Yes, they can. And who's going to peel away and claim that one? got to be Holden, hasn't it? I'm, I'm unsure, but I would think it's Patrick Holden. Yeah, I mean, he looks like he's celebrating it all right. Well, one of the defenders, McJanet, wheeled away in celebration. We'll have a look at it again. But it was a lovely ball in from that corner. And Huben looks like he's got his second goal for his new club at the near post. And finally, Derby City supporters are alive at the Brandywell. It's 1-1. Typical Patrick Holden. There's a good little foul in there by McJanet. He impedes the defender. He gets a hold of him, and it just gives 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 him hold of him that second to get. Yeah, and it's just fantastic, Some isn't it? Players are kind of easier to get injured on. And it doesn't. It has that kind of basketball bounce on it occasionally as well. But second has been good. Oh, another mistake and a chance for Pats to make it two-one. And Forrester. Oh, that ball just fizzes over from Luke Turner. I thought. Forrester was just a little lax there in goal. He should have been a little bit more determined to score. Oh, great ball back. Goal's open to the keeper's right-hand side. Just takes that extra touch. Yeah. Considered those rumours of a bug in the camp and a few players having to arrive on their own. A bit late. They might be happy with that, but... Can Duffy do something for Derry City in the last seconds? There's a chance, and there's the winner! What a finish from Danny Mullen. 
The substitute has won it for Derry City. As I was saying, the Pats would be happy to get out of here with a point. Left footed, roof of the net is destroyed the Pats party. Derry are in front and on the way to three points. Great run down the side, isn't it? Duffy again, causing, causing, causing havoc. Great ball across, you'll see, and then it's a step over, and what a finish. This place is erupted. Had a little look up Duffy to see what was available. Took two touches, and then left-footed into the roof of the net. Brilliant surging run from Duffy. Picks his man up brilliantly. Lovely step over for McMullen initially to Mullen, and then two-touch goal. Great finish. Duffy's done brilliant, because when he's got down the side, he didn't just put it across. He lifts his head and he looks for the pass. And there goes the final whistle. Well, it was Keady over the scoring in the 48th minute, but Hooban equalised on 66 with a header from a corner. And then in at a time, the winner from Danny Mullen, the substitute, means that Derby City pick up all three points and are come from behind victory. We have reaction to come shortly, but Derry have won it. Derry City 2, St. Patrick's United 1.